Today I'm going to talk to you about the best kinds of bait to use on a trout line. As far as live bait goes, uh, I'm, I'm targeting flatheads. And when I'm after flatheads, I want something relatively big and something that's really tough and it's going to stay alive. My go-to for around here that I've got a lot of access to that I can catch out of our local creeks and rivers are green sunfish. They're hands down tougher than, than a lot of your other sunfish species and uh, they're, they're just resilient. They're tough. They'll stay on the line all night kicking around and you, they're easy to handle. They're not very sensitive. You can keep them alive good and flatheads love them. Uh, second option, second choice would be, uh, would probably be bullheads. Have a hard time getting those around here. I don't have a really good source here in Kentucky where I'm at to get them and to catch them, but they make some really great flathead bait too. Again, because they're tough, they stay alive, they're kicking around, they're fighting, they're, you know, when they're on, when they're hooked, and that's what draws a flathead in, draws attention to it. Uh, thirdly, I would probably go with the bluegill or any other type of sunfish, long ears, red breast, whatever you've got around in your waters and are legal to use, they'll make great flathead bait. And when you get on down into some of your minnows, your chubs and things like that, they're, they're really good for channel cats and flatheads will bite them, but it doesn't seem like they live quite as, as good in transport and once you put them on a line to use. Uh, some of the places you can catch some of these sunfish species and things around where you're at would be ponds that you've got permission in, small little creeks. A lot of our little creeks around here are just full of green sunfish and big chubs, and then your local rivers and stuff. You know, when you're catching bait, you got to be sure you got a good way to keep it alive. There's a lot of uh, a lot of commercial aerators out there that you can convert five-gallon buckets, coolers, and different things as such. I've even built a tank to try to keep my stuff alive because that's one of the most important things, especially for flatheads. You want your bait good and alive for a flathead catfish. But these are some of my favorite baits, live baits for flatheads and catfish in general. Hopefully this helps you out.